In this video, I'm going to talk about knowledge checks. Okay, let's get started. So, knowledge checks are new for Adobe Captivate 9. I've done a brief introduction uh, shortly after Captivate 9 was released. And they're a type of question slide that are designed to reinforce learning that has already occurred by testing your learner's knowledge, but not grading them as part of a formal quiz. Best way to think of knowledge checks is like practice questions. And they usually have more feedback than you would expect to find in a final exam. So let's take a look at knowledge checks here. I've got my Learning About Canada course open here. And to add a knowledge check at any time, we'll show you the default settings for knowledge checks. You can do one of two things. You can go from the quiz drop down menu and select knowledge check slide. Alternatively, you can choose it from the slides drop down icon and choose it here. You'll recognize it because it has a little graduation cap associated with it. And you'll also see that same graduation cap on the film strip as well. So let's insert a question slide that happens to be a knowledge check. And as you can see, it looks pretty much like any other question slide would look like. There are a couple of small differences though. Uh, the first and probably most notable thing about a knowledge check is that there's no score associated with it. Uh, unlike a pretest question, which still has a score associated with it, there's no outcome whether the user uh, passes a, a knowledge check question or uh, fails to get it correct. Um, you can choose all the usual things that you would find, a number of answers. You can choose to shuffle those answers. You can choose to have multiple answers. In other words, more than one correct answer. And you can choose the various different captions that, that are available to you. Correct, incomplete, you can set a time limit, although personally I'm not a fan of those. And you can add additional navigation controls like clear, back, skip. And here's where the real fun comes with uh, knowledge checks is, are the actions associated with success or the actions associated with failure. So typically with success, uh, I like to go to next slide uh, rather than continue. Um, and then, of course, I can choose infinite attempts, uh, which I very seldom do. Usually I like to say one or sometimes two or three attempts. And uh, if you have more than, uh, you know, one attempt, uh, you can actually choose a retry message and also um, a final failure message as well and the ability to choose what happens when someone fails to get a knowledge check correct. Now, the default is continue, but let's take a look at a couple of knowledge checks that I've set up, and I'll show you some ideas as to how you can actually uh, really use this to your advantage. I'm actually gonna delete this one here because it's not going to be part of this particular project. Now here I've got some basics about Canada and then shortly after this lesson or immediately after this lesson as the case may be, I've created a very simple knowledge check here that asks how many provinces and territories does Canada have? They should get this correct because they learned it on the previous slide. Uh, as you can see here, the correct answer is 10 provinces and three territories. But let's take a look closer at how I've got this set up. So I'm shuffling the answer. So every time a user runs this, this project, they'll see a different order for these uh, answers. And I have a caption for correct. I have a caption for incomplete. In other words, they're trying to hit submit without making a selection. I don't have any additional navigation controls. And on success, I'm allowing them to continue by going to the next slide. And I'm giving them three attempts. Uh, four would be kind of just like guessing, so three seemed like a good number. And I have a, a retry message here, as you can see, but I also have a failure message as well. And in this case here, instead of going to the next slide, I actually have it going to the previous slide. And this is essentially remediation, where they're going back and being 
uh, shown where the answer to that question actually is. So if they read this here, they'll see that there are 10 provinces and three territories. They'll click next. And one of the great features of knowledge checks is that they don't lock like regular question slides do. Every time a user visits the slide, they'll have an opportunity to answer that question once again. So that's a real great benefit. And of course, you can customize any of your captions to suit the navigation controls that you've selected. Here's another example where I've got a little bit of content here. And then immediately following that content, we have, uh, of course, a knowledge check again. So which city is the capital of Canada? And they can choose Ottawa, Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal. And you'll notice that I have no retry message. I only have the uh, incomplete message and the correct message and a try again. In fact, I can even uh, get rid of the, uh, put this on, turn off the retry message, turn off the infinite attempts, and then go to the previous slide where they'll learn this. And of course, even though it's only one attempt, and there's no captions here to indicate that they've got it correct or not, they'll be brought back to this page and they'll see clearly its capital is Ottawa. So um, they'll learn what they need to know to answer this correctly and then be able to proceed. So knowledge checks are, again, just in summary, a great way to engage your learners. Obviously, if you have something for your learners to do, They'll be more involved in their learning, and of course, that learning will stick. So I really recommend that you know you follow the principle of uh, adding knowledge checks after each lesson. I think you'll find your learning will become much more exciting. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was useful, informative, or interesting, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.